Hello, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing a brand new Apple Watch in 2018. But, it's not the Series 4. It's the Series 1, stainless steel with the pearl nylon band. You know how I got the new iPhone 10s the other day? Well, none of my Sony bands and all that will work with the new 10s. So I needed an Apple Watch. Now I wanted to pre-order the new Series 4 in white, but unfortunately I couldn't do that. My telco wouldn't let me, went in the, d the day it was released and then they were all sold out and I couldn't get the white one. There's a wait till like December on the watch I want right now and I can't be bothered waiting and I need something on my wrist right now to get notifications. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a cheapo Apple secondhand watch off eBay, Gumtree, whatever and deal with that for a few months and then I'll go buy the new Series 4 and you know that's what I was going to do and then all of a sudden when I bought this cheapo second hand watch off eBay for $150 they came back to me and said hey we broke the screen I'll refund your money and I'm like oh well okay and then I found this on Gumtree which it's sort of like a Craigslist and all that for some people out there that know what Craigslist is Gumtree is the equivalent here in Australia. I found this. Series 1 stainless steel with the uh, nylon band, the pearl one with the uh, stainless steel buckle and it was a pretty good deal. Like uh, brand new, still in plastic, unopened here and I thought why not? It's new! It's... I can deal with this for a few months while I wait for my Series 4, right? So, let's do an unboxing video in 2018 of a Series 1 Apple Watch. Let's, uh, let's unbox this. The person that actually owned this before me, he was actually very curious to see what it looks like because he didn't know. He's not really an Apple fanboy, that's why he never opened it. Uh, it was a gift to him and he didn't want it. Um, I think it was an Android user and here I am unboxing his gift that I got it. Kind of a steal maybe? Well, I was totally expecting to say watch there. <laughs> We've got a, uh, what looks to be a case, which is what I assume it's in. We have a little plastic case here, which I assume... Everything you need to know about Apple products is at Apple's website. What? I, I didn't ask for your input, Ziri. Uh, anyway, look at that. Nice little plastic case here. Holy Moses. Smells funny too. Look at that. Still in plastic, of course. Now in the box still we have something. So we get this out. That looks to be the instructions and stuff. Let's not dwell on that. We have the power brick. We have the magnetic charging cable in there and then that should just go boom like that kind of thing. Ah there we are. Magnetizes onto the sapphire crystal back there and this one has the sapphire crystal display actually because it's the stainless steel model. This comes with the sapphire crystal display, the sapphire crystal back and the very nice proper stainless steel chrome-like body which I love. 
we don't need to unwrap that. That's not interesting to you. Now for the watch. Now inside the so watch we've got that thing there. A little buckle there. And that. Alright. Look at that. Now I know this is only a series one, but oh my god. Look at that. That is pretty good looking. I love this. I mean, for me, this is the perfect combo. Should we, let's take off this Sony watch. I wanna see how good this looks on my wrist. The stainless buckle, nylon band, oh my Look at that. I mean, if that doesn't pick up chicks, I don't know what will. Not that I need to, but uh, I mean, that's... Panties will drop when they see that. Oh my God, look at your stainless steel nylon banded Apple Watch Series 1. I won't do that again. The reason I, I bought this, even though I'm going to buy a Series 4, I mean, if I'm only using this for a few months, I thought, if I'm going to buy a Series 1, it has to be good. It has to be stainless steel, it has to be perfect, and it has to look good on that shelf up there, along with the rest of my smartphone stuff and this this was it anyway I'm kind of rambling when I reckon this probably doesn't have power but let's try turn it on anyway nope it's dead dead it does not have power <sighs> uh, that's a bit underwhelming for the end of this video uh, <laughs> anyways I won't end the video here I will charge this up and uh, I'll be back now it's been a few weeks since I filmed that but I wanted to talk about the watch a little bit now being a series one it doesn't have GPS or cellular it's just the Wi-Fi so it uses everything from the phone but to be honest, that's all I really needed anyway. Battery life has been really good. As you can see on the screen there, it's nearly 10 p.m. And I'm only 75% through the battery, so battery life's been good. Um, it has a lot of little useful features, like a little torch. And of course, it does access most other apps that are compatible with Apple Watch. And of course, being a smartwatch, it has an activity tracker so you know how good you're exercising every day you can also control your camera through it and that includes the portrait lighting effects as you can see there and even though it's a series one it can obviously still monitor your heart rate not as advanced as a series four can and you can also control your music and Spotify and make calls and even send texts via voice and you can read them also. Now the Series 1 does have Siri but it's actually not voiced, it's all just uh, text on the screen. But overall it's been a good little piece to uh, have on my wrist and it's been quite a good device, it's been very useful to me. And I got it for less than half the cost of what a brand new basic series 4 would have cost. It shows notifications, it does what I need it to do. I'll upgrade to a series 4 later. I'm quite happy with this for now. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. Hit that like button if you liked it. And I will see you in the next video.